Hi there, my name is Daniel, and today I want to share my honest feedback on the Odin Project Foundations course. I will dive into details and explore some key takeaways from the Odin Project course. I hope it will help you to decide if this course is the right choice for you, or maybe it is better to choose another one. Let's go! Level of difficulty Overall, the Odin Project is a pretty extensive covering a wide range of programming topics. It says that it's supported by a large development community, and it has 8 big courses. But I will tell you about the Foundations course today, because this course provides a solid understanding of computer science and programming concepts, focusing on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The Odin project can be challenging to start with. It throws you into the deep end, making you set up a local environment, choose an IDE like VS Code, and introduces you to Git and GitHub. And I think it might a bit overwhelm beginners, but on the other hand, it's important to learn these skills early on. I remember when I was learning to code, I used another resources, which felt way less structured and more complicated. That's why I like how this course is built. It provides a solid foundation and well-structured curriculum. The Odin project follows a project-based learning approach, and I think it's great for beginners. It helps you avoid getting stuck in tutorial hell, where you only go from one tutorial to another without building anything. That building projects is crucial to apply what you have learned. And I like it. As I see, this project is developing year by year. But still remember, there is isn't just one place to learn coding. It's essential to gather information from various sources and not rely on just one. Practicality Guys, before I continue, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thanks! As I said earlier, an Odin project is a comprehensive course, and it covers all necessary content for beginner web developer. While it doesn't have built-in videos, they provide links to external resources for further deep explanations. This allows you to choose what suits your learning style. And this is relevant for a current year. And I really like how the course covers relevant technologies, like for example Chrome DevTools. And this is great for new students. Chrome DevTools are good for debugging and make styled adjustments directly in the browser. And this is something many developers don't fully use. I also enjoyed that some lessons encouraged reading documentation, blog posts and articles. This reflects real-world software development, where developers often consult various resources. But I found a problem. The curriculum doesn't cover data structures and algorithms. While the focus is on building web apps quickly, understanding these concepts is important for tech technical interviews, so I suggest just fill this knowledge gap from other resources. As I said before, the Odin project offers practical learning through the project-based exercises. And this is good, because it prepares you for the job market and has a big development community. Community. One more important point I found, the Voidin project values social interaction with real developers. It provides a place where learners can connect through their Discord community. And according to my personal experience, being a part of a supportive development community makes learning process easier and more enjoyable. Wow. It lets you interact with other beginner programmers and experienced programmers. Sometimes you even can find a mentor who can consistently help with your questions. You can also check out other community learning code and projects, which can inspire you and give you a new perspective. The Odin project and its community have been around for a while, year by year getting bigger and better. And as we see, they care about helping people learn to code and provide their big knowledge database for free. Price. Guys, the Odin project is 100% free to use. Its entire curriculum is available at no cost. Unlike some other resources that claim to be free, but usually have hidden costs, which I personally hate. When someone is claiming it's for free, but then suddenly the terms changes. So at this moment the Odin project is truly free. Additionally, it's an open source platform. This means that it relies on the development community, where some of them come back, contribute and improve the platform. And the fact that Odin project is open source shows its commitment to provide free resources for new folks. And I and guys who work with me, we really appreciate it. This feature sets it apart from paid platforms and showcases its genuine intention to help people. People who usually have lack of financial resources to learn to code. 
For these reasons, I recommend the Odin project as a valuable resource for learning how to code, and my rating is 4.5 out of 5. If you are looking for a reliable and supportive learning experience, this platform is a great choice. Guys, if you want me to analyze other free learning courses, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I will try to make more videos based on your requests. Subscribe this channel to stay tuned for more updates. Think about it. And until next time.